I'm Robin Higgins, and this is a chemistry exercise in predicting the products of a reaction. All right, so this question really covers almost all of chemistry. So let's just narrow it down to one example and kind of work through the steps. So if we don't know what the product is, we need to basically observe what we have and make an educated guess. So if I look at these two reagents, um, I can immediately notice the negative charge on oxygen. And I also notice over here that this carbon is bonded to uh, a methyl group and two hydrogens and a bromine. And I pretty much know from experience and the periodic table rules that bromine is gonna be the most reactive portion of this molecule. It's a really good leading group. It has high electronegativity. It's pretty much okay reacting. Hydrogens are definitely not okay reacting. So they're gonna say the same. And the methyl group is pretty much the same thing. So the first step of predicting our products is just looking around, seeing what we have, what's gonna stay the same, and what's going to change. So in this case, we've identified that this negative charge will probably do something, the bromine will probably react, and everything else will probably stay the same. Now the second part of predicting the product is to just remember what reactions have we learned so far? Because there are so many that we need to just pick from something we've been taught. So in this case, to me, this really looks like an SN2 reaction. So I'm gonna go ahead and guess this is an SN2. And I'm predicting that because we have a good nucleophile, we have a good leaving group, and this carbon isn't too sterically hindered to be attacked. So if you're in organic chemistry, the best way to predict the products is to simply draw a mechanism and see what you get. So what I'm gonna do is draw a reaction arrow here because that's how SN2 reactions work, attacking at the center carbon. I'm gonna have bromine leave, and then I'm just gonna draw what we got. So we don't have a question mark anymore. We know that we have our oxygen group is attacked. We have our methyl group, and we have our two hydrogens. And then over here hanging out, now we have a negatively charged bromine with four lone pairs. And so this is how I predicted my product. I looked at what I had, identified what would change and stay the same. I thought about the different reactions that I learned, and then I drew a mechanism. I'm Robin Higgins, and this has been a chemistry exercise in predicting the products of a reaction.